Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel, JC here with another video. Now, let's get right to the point. Today we're gonna check a new composition that I've been testing. It is not as good as the green one, but it works for Astaroth. It is unorthodox, to say the least. So, this time we're gonna be trying a red build. First I'll use this to put the Magatamas in place and now yeah we're gonna keep Serpent Blaze even though we're gonna be using a red build. Why? Because there are a bunch of enemies on this stage. Uh, if you're not facing many enemies you can take out Serpent Blaze. It, it is fine to keep it if you're using it Nifrinka, but if not, then you can change it. If you're using the new weapon, then you can change it to Satellite, satellite, satellite Flare so that you can uh, recover more HP. Uh, other options include Phoenix Dive to terrorize the enemy and Lava Surf Serpent just to deal a little bit more damage. Prominence not a good option, even though it has, uh, well, it can be viable if you have enough HP and the enemy doesn't insta-kill you, but if uh, one hit is more than enough to KO you, then uh, avoid this skill. Obviously, uh, Fire Wave and Hellblaze are a must-have for a red build. So, yeah, the thing about this build is that we're going to be using... Or is she? Aska. White Feather Aska. Why her? Uh, usually you want these on machine type characters, be uh, red machine type characters, because you're gonna be getting a 42% damage increase. With Astrod, we only get a 21% damage increase. But the important thing, as usual, if you're using this as your main slot, then uh, is that you're going to be able to break the super armor of the enemy. And with Hellblaze, that is super easy. Uh -huh. Other than that, you may use any other uh, supporters you may want. Depending on your build, you can go for range attackers, uh, range damage increase, uh, neutral damage increase, demon damage increase, or damage increase, which depends on the status of the enemy and if the enemy has debuffs or not. Uh, which one do I want? Uh, it's one percent more with with um, Shirayuki. But I think I'm going to go with her. Yep. Nice. So yeah, uh, basically that's it. That's what we're going to be using this day. A red asteroid. Ah, also, I'm going to be changing Rin. So I'll just remove her Magatamas. And instead we're going to use another attacker in the form of Shizuru. Let's see. Machine, I think it was, yeah, this one. The one with the yin yang. This one, the one with the wind. Uh, and I don't remember which was the last one. Human, 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 demon. Okay. And I'll just equip whatever and remove this and put this and there we go. So we're going to be using a red Shizuru and the important thing is that we're going to use her, her supporter. Why? Because it has a team effect that increases the speed of suppressed type character uh, by 10%, which means Asteroid is going to be attacking faster. So yeah, we're going to use this. And what else can we use? So let me just 
double check. Obviously, Sprout Garden to get HP recovery. Uh, Rose Rondo, because it synergizes with the, her weapon, giving a buff and decreases the defense of the enemy. So these are melee attacks. And this one also decreases the, the defense. So yeah, that's going to increase our damage a lot. For that, let me check. Uh, uh, this is another good option for a main supporter. You go like full red with everyone. Then you're going to receive another buff to... Uh, you're going to reduce the damage taken by suppressed up characters by 30%. That's a big amount. I mean, huge. Ah, if only. I mean, with against other bosses, I might use it. But... Uh, because we have Queen Arachne, I don't want to take out Felicia, and I don't want to give her a supporter, which is not going to benefit her her composition. So yeah, let's see. Other than that, we're gonna be using who? Red, only red. Uh, twenty six with melee. Uh, it is possible to use this one. Uh, it's going to make her a little bit tankier. Yeah, I'm going to use Shiranui. And who else? I mean, this is going to give me damage increase and HP restoration. I guess, yeah, Kirara. Uh, the important thing is that I have the weapon, which increases damage of allies within the range of Rose Rondo and reduces the critical attack resistance of the enemy. So this is super good for VR. Uh, and now that we're gonna get uh, the limited uh, the limited pack for Eleanor, she also does that. She also reduces critical resistance. So that's gonna be awesome. Now we're gonna try it on step 41. And as you can see, this build is particularly good for stages where you are not able to break the, the super armor easily. So first let's get rid of those spiders. And just the, I think that Serpent Blaze just destroyed the, the super armor. So it was, oh, there we go. It was unnecessary to do the Hellblaze after that. I could have just kept it with me for a while, but alas, I beat Queen Aragne pretty quickly. I guess it's because she doesn't have red resistance. Oh, and that's a good thing. You have two ways to heal yourself in this team. And you're constantly going to be able to just stop Queen Saragne's attacks thanks to the, the effect on Asuka's supporter. So yeah, pretty easy. Uh, this is not the best damage for higher stages. It's not going to be useful. This is for, for standard farming. Because on higher stages you only want Full damage, as much damage as possible. Here on 41, you can easily just combine both the <clears throat> defense and damage to do to work out this stage. So yeah, that's that's one thing. There's also, I, I was meaning to try another composition with blue. I'm going to keep Serpent Blaze once again, just because of the kind of stage with multiple enemies. But for blue, blue is easy to just put Arabella for VR or stages with single boss. Then uh, it is possible to use this one, but I haven't just uh, increased her her 
um, you know, the number to give her more HP. So I'm going to use this instead. It has a 5% chance to deal additional damage. So this is good, especially with uh, Shizuru and her supporter. Because that way I'm going to be attacking faster. And I'm going to be able to proc this uh, effect more. Other than that, I want... Who's I want? Maybe I can use this. Why? Because specifically with Shizuru, she's going to reduce the resistance of the enemy. And because of that, the, the critical resistance of the enemy. So the critical rate is going to be useful. I would rather use this. No, no, no. This. But as I say, I, I need more blue beads. Or Onigumo. But look at this. Beautiful. 1-5. We really need a rerun of that. Oh, yeah. I could use Kirara. Okay, I'll I'll use Kirara. Mm, I'm not really convinced, but it is what I have. So yeah, let's go with that. Uh, the important thing here is because uh, Arabella is kind of uh, an easy but an easy pick, but Nanase is the big deal here because it's in conjunction with uh, a speed increase effect in. Dancer Shizuru. If you have other ways to increase your attack speed, then that supporter is good. And besides, uh, Astaroth is already fast at dealing um, damage with her flamethrower. So, first I do this, and then Supernova. Nice! Super important to abuse Serpent Blaze in these kind of stages because you want to focus on the boss but at the same time you don't want the mobs to be alive. So that's why I keep Serpent Blaze even though it is the full green skill and I don't have any green supporters. So there's no benefit. Well, there is a benefit dealing with the spiders without having to go after them. Okay... There we go. More, more. And yeah, blue ain't my favorite uh, because we lack. <laughs> if only we had Onigumo, most of us, uh, then it would be better. It would be uh, viable. Maybe for machines I can do it because I, I do have the, the butler one. I don't remember her name right now, but yeah, the, the one that gives 50% more damage to machine. And as you can see, I'm dealing damage pretty quickly, <laughs> very quickly, uh, because of, ah, pushes through. But, well, yeah, uh, that's about it for, for that part. Next, uh, tomorrow, <laughs> on next video, we're going to be checking, uh, where is... Or is the... No, not inventory. The um, collection, yeah. We're going to be checking the new supporter, which you can already check the effects here. And as I told you, it reduces uh, critical... I don't know if it's this or a weapon, but uh, some of uh, one of those reduces critical uh, resistance, which is good. But um, specifically against Queen Arachne... For daily farming, you want to to always have uh, Felicia on your team. So, yeah. Well, that's about it. And we'll see each other tomorrow to check what happens with, uh, with Eleanor's limited supporter. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it worth it? Well, we'll know tomorrow after some testing. See you!